Feather Bear Designs. I'm back with part three of the crayon art inspired tumbler. So I'm going to be going back through on this segment and I'm going to be doing a second coat anywhere that needs additional glitter, like up at the top, anywhere that I'm looking that um, needs a little bit more glitter is going to get a little bit of extra attention in this video. So I'm going to go through, get my Mod Podge in my little cup. and my paintbrush and get started. I'm gonna be using all the same glitter colors and just putting them right over the top of where they were before. So I will be using a small paintbrush, the Fire Glow glitters from Bulk Glitters, and Recollections Marine and Muse. And then I have still a little bit, I still haven't found my red glitter from the earlier video. So the Martha Stewart Red Corundum. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down here. We're gonna get right into it. So I'm just gonna look around the cup and see if I can find any areas that obviously need more glitter. This is one of them. This spot right here is really sparse. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the Mod Podge and I'm gonna do a nice little coat of Mod Podge right over the top of this. And I'm also, excuse me, I have hiccups. Gonna go right along the top where it's missing right there. And then right here as well. I'm not gonna cover every single part. I'm not gonna go over all of these because the litter saturated most of the places. Recollection Champagne as well. Sorry, I forgot that I had used that one. That's the color that's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle that right on. looking around the cup to find any more spots that need additional glitter. Need some up here. And some right down here. This color that's in this section right here is the Sun Watcher Gold from the Bulk Glitters Kit. And the next color is Clockfire Copper, also from the Bulk Glitters Kit. I need a little bit more Mod Podge on the top right there, where it didn't get in all the way. And then a little bit Mod Podge down here where it's missing a couple little spots. The next color that was used is the I had to look. <laughs> it's the Flame Kissed Heart. I should have written down the order of my colors, but I thought that I could just visually match them up. <laughs> and I'm just going to go in in some of these places where there's a little missing spot. And I'm just going to put a little Mod Podge there. up top where it didn't quite make it all the way to the edge. <laughs> 
Next is the red, just a little bit where the red needs to be filled in, not much. Not very much red left in this bottle, but I think there's just enough Just enough on there to get the point across. And I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit more of this pink lightly to get anywhere I didn't get that red. Okay. The next color is Muse. let this cup dry overnight. The last video you guys saw um, was yesterday. So this has been sitting in my craft room since yesterday. I'm just going in, adding the Mod Podge just to a few places that needed a little extra love. Grabbing my Muse, and I'm going to go in heavy right here, lighter up towards the top because I want that blend. getting all the red out of there that I can. There we go. The next color is marine. And I'm just making sure that my little drop shapes, I'm making sure that those are smooth. I don't have any pointy edges, just making sure everything's nice and rounded. And I have a little teardrop down here. Oh. Not a teardrop, a little raindrop. Ah, there went my paintbrush. Okay. The next color is the dark green from the Bulk Glitters collection. It's green mist. green mist. And then it's the Verdant Jade. Uh, 
there's not a whole lot of places in this jade that need touch-ups. It coated pretty well. That's a good thing. I have a glitter mess going right here, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. That's all the colors. Did all the touch-ups on there. So what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to put it on the turner, and I'm going to put the space heater on it and let it dry, and then I will be back with the first coat of epoxy because I have to epoxy it before I add my decal. So you guys stay tuned. I will be back. Okay, so I let this turn on my turner for about 15 minutes or so in front of my space heater so all the Mod Podge would dry. And then I'm just taking a dry bristle brush. You guys have seen this brush in my videos before. Um, it was cheap, it was from Walmart, and it's really bristly, kind of like a broom. And I'm just going to knock off any loose glitter that's still left on the cup. making sure there's no more glitter loose on the cup. The next thing I'm going to be doing is putting on the epoxy because my decal is going to go on this cup after it's epoxied so that I have a nice smooth surface to adhere it to. Um, what, I would, what I did when I was doing the drips is um, I cut my design out of cardstock and placed it on the cup where I wanted it to be in the end. And then I just took a colored pencil and I drew a little bit of a line across the top of the umbrella. So I knew where I wanted my drips to come down to. Um, I also, after the fact, cut one out of black. I'm not gonna do black on this cup. I have an idea for a different color, but um, I cut one so that I could place it on the cup. And it's got glitter on it, so it's not really sticky. Um, so I could place it on the cup and see how it was going to look and where I wanted it and if I needed to resize it. So there's that. So I'm going to take this. Um, I don't want to epoxy it on my single turner. I want to epoxy it on my multi turner. So I'm going to see if I can move you guys over there. Okay, so I go, went ahead and mixed up my epoxy. I added a little bit of um, Recollections Bling and a little bit of a Chunky Bling. Can you guys see the, here, the little chunks in there? Because I wanted it to be reminiscent of some uh, water droplets in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the epoxy on. I hope you guys can see what's going on here. little bit of a weird angle for me because I want you guys to be able to see but I will live I just want to make sure that this first layer is coating the entire cup I get a big piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree and I put that underneath my cups when they're turning and then I just replace it ever so often. It works for me rather than, rather than cleaning up something that's silicone. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This just works for me. It gets covered in epoxy and then I go get another one for a buck. Putting some epoxy on the bottom. And those little pieces of chunky bling are spreading out over the cup. So they're just randomly placed around the cup. And 
And I'm just going to rub it, make sure that I covered every single place. There's not any bare glitter. And then I will let this turn until it's completely cured, which is generally four to six hours if it's a warm room. It's good, I think I have it completely coated. And then I will be back with you guys to add the vinyl decal. 